Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art here. Today I decided I'd show you how I mix up um, different pigments and tube paints. So what I have here is Hustle by this little piggy, which is a neon color, it's a neon pigment. We have Comet, which is an interference color. So it looks white, but when it hits the light, it color shifts. And we have Lagoon, which is a mica. Lovely green color. And for a tube paint, we're just gonna use Matisse Flow Southern Ocean Blue. Now that there is a transparent. So when you want to actually make some custom colors, any of the transparents are really good for making custom colors. I'll leave that for another video and show you how I make all my custom colors later on. For this one, we're just going to keep standard colors as they are out of the jar. Okay, so I'll put them to one side. Now, my pouring medium that I use is Torben's Easy Coat. It's hard to see the can because it's like a big four litre can. Now that's interior door and trim and it's a neutral base. Okay. And it is really, really thick. Now if I move the light over a bit more, you might be able to see in it. There you go. So that there is really thick and gooey. So when I open the can, first thing I do is give it a stir because any oils that are in that separate. So just give that a bit of a stir. Now I've already stirred that earlier on. So it's good to go. So that's one part of the pouring medium that I use. So what I'm gonna do is Rather than try and scoop everything out of the big can, I'll move that across to one side. Then I will scoop out, that's an 80 mil container, like scoop, holds 80 mil. I've got a plastic cup. I'm just gonna scoop paint out of the can into the scoop makes it really hard to see because it's such a big can okay so 80 mil scoop that into the cup now I'll probably mix up more colors than these here so I might go a little bit more but usually you know 20 mil per colors fine for smaller stuff, lasts for ages. So, but I'll explain that in a second. All right, so I'll grab two of those. So that's 160 mil of Torben's Easy Coat Door and Trim, which is a gloss in a neutral base. Okay, so scoop that there. Get rid of that. Get rid of the can so I don't knock it over because I am a clumsy little oaf. Now, being neutral, see how it looks white, but if you rub it into the stick, it starts to go clear. So even if it's on your fingers, there's the white. Rub it in, goes clear. So it's perfect for pigments, micas, tube paints, whatever you choose to mix up. Now with that, because that's quite thick, as you can see, I'll usually mix in some Joe Sonia with that. Um, I'll usually put about 20 mil in
So there's the J Sonia gloss varnish, 20 mil scoop. Let's stick that in. So now I have 80 mil, uh, 160 mil, sorry, with the door and trim. And I've got about 20 mil of Joe Sonia. Now I've found that if you go too heavy with your Joe Sonia, your cells, when you do blooms and swipes and things like that, tend to distort as it dries. They move around quite a bit. So I like to make my colours a lot thicker than pretty much anybody else. Because I can get away with it. It's um, To me it's a lot better because all your colours don't sort of mud into each other when you do crazy things like I do. Like with the wrecked swipes and things like that. You've got definite lines of colour. And that's because your colours are so thick, they don't blend into each other as much. It's how I can lay a, an orange and a blue side by side and not get mud. Just by making the colours that little bit thicker. Okay, so that's about the consistency. Okay, now, what I do is I get plastic cups. They are like little dressing containers which look like these little dudes I think they're 50 mil they hold perfect for mixing your paints lid goes on comes with the lids Dun. and you've got a little airtight container so what we'll do is grab one of those, move it out of the way. Okay. We'll start with the tube paint first. Now this is how I mix my tube paints. I don't know how everybody else mixes theirs, but this is the way I do all my colors. And if you've watched my videos, you've seen my colors. So what I'll do is grab some Joe Sonia a little bit in the bottom of the container grab some southern ocean blue now that's probably a couple of pea sizes and I'll grab a stick I'll mix that into the Joe Sonia Like that. Okay. Then for all you guys, because I usually don't use measuring of any shape or form, digital scales. What I'll do is I'll put some paper over that so you don't get the glare off it. Okay, now what I'll do is turn that on, go to mill, tear it out, so that's zeroed out. Now I usually put about 5 mil in at a time. That way, when I mix it, the colours that I mix end up being pretty much close to what they are out of the tube or out of the jar. If you overload it straight up with your pouring medium, especially with pigments, micas, things like that, you're going to mute them right out. So start with that first, mix it in thoroughly. Go a little bit more. I mean, yeah, it does take a lot longer to mix all your colours up, especially if you're making a whole heap of colours. But they stay pretty close to true to colour as what they are in the jar or tubes. Okay. 
a little bit more, another five mil. I usually make up 20 mil at a time. That way I know I can get a couple of paintings out of a plastic container full. If you want, you can wash the plastic containers out when you're finished and they're all used up. You can wash them out, reuse them, no big deal. But 20 mil at a time, I know there's enough there and I, it stays quite nice. So that's it now, all mixed up. And that's the consistency. Leaves a trace of about one, one and a half seconds. Before it disappears. And that's the consistency I like with my colors that I mess around with. Okay, so that's all mixed in. Nice, beautiful. So that's our tube paint. Okay, so what we'll do is grab the lid. Stick that on so we don't get air in it. Always grab a marker. Right on it. Southern Ocean Blue. Okay, that's number one. Then we'll grab another container. I think we'll do a neon this time. Which is our hustle by this little piggy. Now, pigments, micas, any of the powder paints, wear a mask. Bare minimum, use an N95, so it actually covers your nose and mouth and seals at the edges. If you just use a basic surgical mask, like you would have when you're running around with, you know, all this COVID going on, um, it doesn't seal properly at the edges. Surgical masks are used for doctors not breathing stuff all over you, not the other way around. So if you use an N95, you'll be good to go. All right. Okie dokie. So, pigments. What we're going to do is put some Jose on you in the bottom. I put enough to coat the bottom of the container. Like that. Can't really weigh it because the scales don't go down far enough. So remember, wear a mask. Best to wear safety glasses too because any of this stuff in the air can go into your eyes, which isn't real pretty either. Okay, always open the lid away from you. What I do is grab that much. And same again, which is probably a full teaspoon, and it's going into 20 mil of um, pour and medium. So it is well and truly over pigmented. I'm using twice as much as I should, but all my colors are very, very vivid. And they don't foculate. Then while I've got that in there, I'll add a little bit more Joe Sonia over the top of it. That's why I don't mix so much in my pourer medium. Because most of it's going into there rather than there. Okay, now with that away from your face, real slow, knead it in. Now compared to um, like fairy floss, which is another cool, this little piggy color, which is a, a mica pigment, you'll notice the neons have bigger grain sizes in them, which I'll show you with the other one when I mix it. But now that that's wet out, like that I don't have to worry about all the dust floating up into the air 
so I can give it a real good mix. Okay, make sure there's no lumpy bits. Make sure it's all mixed in good. Okay, like so. And you end up with like a really runny tube paint. It's still nice and thick, but it's um, yeah, quite runny like a tube paint that's been sitting in the sun or in your drawer in Australia when it's summertime everything cooks here okay turn the scales back on I'm gonna go 20 mil but five mil at a time that way that super bright color is gonna stay super bright And you can get away with using less pigment if you want to save a bit of money. But if you over pigment them like I do, you know you're not going to have any problems with it. Especially if you're stretching them out over a big canvas or something like that. Where you tilt and stretch or you're doing a big bloom on a you know two foot size round canvas or MDF board or whatever. Once you start stretching them out, they don't break up because you've got a load of pigment in it. Okay, so we'll go another five of that. Try not to whip too much air into it. And preferably leave them overnight before you actually use them. That way any air that's in there will release overnight. And you shouldn't have too much problems. Okay, go another five. So after you've mixed up a couple of hundred different colours, you'll be able to just gauge it real easy how much you need, how much you don't. Mix that in. Okay. Another five. Yeah, all right. There you go. 20 mil. I mean, you can mix more up. Entirely up to you. But I like to just do small batches at a time. That way it's always fresh paint, fresh colours. You're not going to have dried lumpy bits through it. Things like that. Okay, so as far as consistency goes. Leaves the same one and a half second trace. And your colour is super bright. Doesn't mute it, which is what we want. Okay. Grab a lid for that one. Make sure it's sealed. Right on the lid. Hustle. That way you know what it is. I think we'll go Lagoon for this one, which is your mica. Once again, we'll get the J Sonia. Stick a squirt in the bottom. Crack the lid open, hold it well away from your face. Do it slowly. Grab a stick. Heaped spoonful. Heaped spoonful. So yeah, there's enough there to make 
50 to 80 mil of pour, like mixed in with pour medium if you wanted to. But, like I said, I wipe mine overboard. Then I'm gonna get some more Jasonia. Just lay that over the top of it. Less chance of it puffing up when you first start stirring. Okay, tilt it away from you. Just nice and slow. Don't go nuts until it all starts wetting in. Otherwise you're gonna have fine dust coming out of it. That goes everywhere. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. Okay, wet the sides. Start mixing, mixing, mixing. Who'd have thought mixing paint would be interesting? <laughs> okay. So we'll mix that one like that. Make sure there's no lumps, no bumps. And that is the colour. So we want to try and achieve that with the pour and medium already mixed in. So that's the colour we're going for. Back on the scales. 370. Five mil at a time. You can go less if you want. Don't go more. Mix it in. What I'll actually do is probably mix a colour later on, where I just dump the whole lot in in one go and show you what happens. Okay, so we start with that one first, five mil. Colour's exactly the same as what it was. Another five mil. Yeah, another good trick is when you want to mix up actually more than 20 mil at a time, if you just add it little bit by little bit and you see the color start to lighten up, stop. That way you've got the right amount pour a medium in with your pigments or micas or chew paint before it dulls it all out okay another five so that's 15 mil So yeah, as soon as it starts to mute your colour, stop adding pouring medium, because you're just going to kill the colour. Okay, add another five. And there we go. Mix that one in. Make sure you scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, try not to whip too much air in, but like I said, leave it overnight before you use them, or at least, you know, two, three, four hours. Another thing you can do is give it a tap on the tabletop, brings all the air bubbles up. So that one there is that car. It's still the same colour that we started with. 
maybe a tiny fraction lighter, but really, really super close. Okay. So that one is the mica. Grab a lid. Right on the lid. Lagoon. So we know what it is. All right. Interference pigments. Going to do exactly the same thing as everything else that we've done so far. It's all exactly the same. This one is your comet. Open the lid slowly. Make sure it's away from your face. You don't want to breathe this stuff in. Now, interference colours, you don't need anywhere near as much. So, I'm only going to put the one scoop in. Which is probably that. Half a teaspoon. Which is still a hell of a lot for interference. But I like lots of interference. So that's all good. Gonna grab the J Sonia, add a little bit more over the top. That way it doesn't puff everywhere. Okay. Grab the stick. Same thing. Tilt it away from your face. Just go real slow to get it started. That way it's not going to puff everywhere. By adding the Joe Sonia over the top, you've got less chance of it puffing. Or whatever other pouring type dispersant you want to use. You don't just have to use Joe Sonia. I use it because it's easy to get. And it's not overly expensive. Okay, so now that that's in there, we start mixing that up. Now, I wonder if you can see that. See the colour change? It looked white, but it's not. So that's your interference. And you just mix it up the same as you would all the other stuff. Just, you don't need as much. Okay, so we'll stick that on there. Throw 20 mil in, but we're going to do 5 mil at a time. Same as before. But yeah, it does take a lot longer doing it this way, but... Your colours stay good. Mix that one in. More pour medium. Okay, that's 15. I'll put 20 mil of this one in. Make sure you scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. If there's a ridge in the bottom of your cups, scrape it through there. Five more mil. Okay, and that will do this one. Okay, so that's all mixed in. Now, because this porous medium is like almost crystal clear, 
any of your colors that are mixed in the way I've shown you how to do it should stay exactly the same color as they dry they might go a little bit darker but as soon as you resin it or put some sort of varnish over the top it's going to pop again so and that's the consistency leaves a one or two second trace so by having them a little bit thicker than you usually would it definitely works out a lot better for you it does for me anyway okay so we'll put a lid on that <laughs> and we'll write on it what it is so we don't forget especially with these interference colors if you don't write what color they are on the lid <laughs> it makes it real hard to distinguish what it actually is in the container because they all look white until it sort of like hits the light and you can just sort of see a flash so definitely pays to put the lid on and write down what it is okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to do um i'm going to mix up lagoon again but i'm going to dump the whole lot of pour medium in in one go i'll just grab another bottle of joe sonia okay back again fresh bottle gonna put some in the bottom again we're gonna get lagoon oh you poor piggy okay that's heaps in there. Add some more Joe over the top, just so it doesn't fluff up. Do it. Mix this one in. Keep it away from your face, nice and slow. On darker colours, you really notice it a lot. Like something like Sapphire, which I should have mixed, but oops. You'll notice it dulls right off really bad if you dump the whole lot in in one go. I mean, it does dry better, but it's still not quite right. Okay. So that's the colour we're going to start with. Hopefully you can see it good. Scales on. Okay, 20 mil, all in one go. Now, you can see the original colour there. Actually, if I scoop a little bit out and put it on there. Mix that in. And you can see straight away how light it went just by dumping the whole lot of um, pour a medium in straight away so what I'll do is get a little scoop of that and put it beside what it was originally the color difference 
just by mixing your colour, your pore medium in real slow, it stays the same colour. Whereas you dump it all in one hit, and it mutes it really, really bad. That's a good trick for when you're using cheap pigments as well. Cheap pigments don't like the pore medium dumped in in one go. And it mutes them out really bad. So you're better off to just add a little bit at a time. And just keep adding it until you see the colour start to change and pale off. Then stop. Alright, so there you go. Totally muted out piggy. I mean, it's still not too bad. It's pretty colour. But it's not lagoon if you know what I mean it needs to be a little bit darker you can cheat though if you use some acrylic inks like these give it a good shake you can make it into a custom colour so I'll add one eyedropper of that. Mix it in. And then I'll grab a different color ink which is acrylic ink so it's that one and just give it a different color that way you've got all the shimmer and shine of your lagoon but it's a brighter green Like that. So yeah, if you mute them out by accident, if you've got some of that acrylic ink, you can always just make a custom colour. That way you're not throwing it away, you're not wasting anything. I mean, it's not the colour you started with, not even remotely, but it's... Um, not going to be wasting. You've got yourself a cool custom colour that you didn't have before. So we'll put that one beside the other one. So rather than being muted, we got a really pretty green. I mean, I could have added blue. Could have added any colour to it, really, and it would have changed colour to what I wanted, so. It's something for you to play around with. Rather than wasting your piggies when you mute them out, or any other brand for that matter, add some alcohol ink, and they all work good. Not alcohol, acrylic ink. Uh-uh. Right on it. Custom. It was originally Lagoon. Alright. There you go, guys. That is how I mix up my tube paint and pigments and micas. So, hopefully that's been a bit of a help to you. If you've got any questions... Leave them in the uh, comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Please hit the like, share and subscribe. If you ring the notification bell, you will get to see all my videos as they're released. That way you don't miss any. Alright guys, hope you like that. Like I said, any questions, just leave them in the uh, comments and I'll get back to them ASAP. Alright.
You guys have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.